Well, in the end, the Windsor Wolves proving too good for the West Tigers. It was a match where the lead really seesawed, and uh, John Little, the Tigers got off on the right foot. They scored two tries, but um, the match then just ebbed and flowed, didn't it? Well, the West Tigers led after 10 minutes, 12 points to nil, and they uh, were hauled back by the, the Windsor um, Wolves, uh, who hit the front 16 points to nil. And then at half time, it looked like the West Tigers had gone on top uh, to go in at half time leaders. But at the end of the day, the uh, scoreboard said that. The Windsor Wolves won 44 points to 42, and that's what it all counts. And Fred Lucas, uh, the uh, Windsor Wolves and the West Tigers had a number of key performers. I guess for the Wolves, it was Blake Austin who was one of the shining lights, and for the West Tigers, their fullback James Tedesco was very strong. Yeah, Tedesco, look, he, he was the driving force behind the West Tigers. Uh, very strong player, very quick over about 35 metres, and he can read a game. He came up the middle, he made the breaks, he set up tries for the West Tigers, and, and look, uh, the Windsor Wolves, a few times, didn't have an answer for it. I think they're going to go back to the drawing board this, this coming weekend, Michael, and, and re restructure their whole attack plan. Well, next weekend we're off to the Central Coast to call the action between the Wyong Roos and the Windsor Wolves. And, of course, we remember our friend Nicole Fitzsimons today. Check out the Nicole Fitzsimons Foundation website and find out how you can support a great cause. This is Michael Golikov. Hope to have your company next weekend.